Hi everyone, you know what? Someone writes to me that my channel is dying. Nobody see, nobody watches my videos. Nobody listen to me. I'm just boring. Nobody understand me. My English is my English is so bad that people laugh at me, and nobody want to follow me anymore. But you know what? I don't care because I, because I am what I. Who I am, and I don't care about what people see when they watch my videos. I am Italian. I just struggled so much to learn what I know about English. I attended some courses, but apparently this was useless. I just can't speak English in a way that. Uh, is understandable to all of you. So I'm just speaking from that single person who every time um, come here, comes here to watch my video and listen to my story. I don't think my story, the story of my life, is a very common one. In fact, I wish my um, storytelling, which my uh, life is can be a model to, an example to everyone who, who has a difficult life, a difficult existence, uh, just like mine. So, today I'd like to speak to you about one episode that occurred to me in these days. Uh, it involved my caregiver, my mother, my father, and the WhatsApp social media that apparently is taking possession of all our life, of all our lives. So here it is what happened um, some days ago. As you know, my sexual orientation is uh, transgenderism. I just made the mistake of telling it to my caregiver, okay? I just wrote to him a letter in which I confessed I was a transgender and that I was just um, about to fall in love with him. Well, I didn't see this person so often in these months since he got the job because I'm a very solitary person very lonely person. I don't like to see people in person. So I just saw this caregiver a couple of times since he was a since he got the job uh, in January. Okay. So this I just grow. I just grew so attached to him, and I just felt. I don't know why, but I felt loved. It was the first person in many years who just came to see me in this room. So I just developed a, a feeling of attachment to him. I wrote to him, I know you don't uh, see me as a woman because I am I have a male body. But I'm just telling you that I feel something for you and it's better if we don't see each other anymore. Okay. So I decided to put an end to our professional relationship and I confess I was about to dismiss him from this job. So what's happened? What happened? He just uh, got confused. 
he says he don't I don't want it, I don't want to lose the job and he wrote to my mother he wrote to my mother and sent to her all the letters I have I sent to him about my transgenderism, about my sexuality, about the love I was feeling for him, because he wanted to have vengeance against me. And he said, and well, I discovered it by watching my mother WhatsApp because I grew, I just got. Uh, uh, suspectful about the way he didn't respond to my mails anymore, to my emails anymore, and I discovered that he was telling my mother everything about me that I was a transgender, that I was in love with him, that I was being very uh, dangerous for his job. He said, I don't want to get dismissed. I need this money. And your son is behaving very badly towards, to me. Because he just saying he loves me. And I don't want to see him anymore. Because I don't want to have a relationship with a transgender person. But you are forced to pay me every month anyway. Because um, with this pandemia, with COVID pandemia, anyone can, uh, nobody can be dismissed in this country in Italy. So now I'm forced to be bullied by this person who is keeping writing to my mother, uh, saying, uh, saying, saying things horrible things about me and as you know my mother is just happy to be a confident be, to receive his confidences um, to know things about me she can just tell everybody to make fun of me this is completely wrong I just want to be free to be the, the man or the woman I am. I can't be forced to pay monthly, to monthly pay a person who is just telling such bad things about me, things that I completely wrong in my mind because I'm a transgender. And well, this coming out he made to me about me is something very violent that it should be condemned. In fact, it is a law in, in the Italian legislative system that condemns this way of telling people something that is just private. Why did this person send my emails, my private emails to my mother, so that my mother could send them to my father and all her family? Um, what do you think? Is that wrong? Is that right? Just because I'm a very weak, weak person, I just, I deserve being treated like that. I hope you can just give me advice, uh, some advice, and uh, well, just now I'm, ju I'm uh, looking for a new caregiver, someone who can uh, stay next to me. Independently from what my mother thinks of it, because she says that is sh that she is shocked about this revelation about sexuality, about my sexuality, and she says that I shouldn't reveal 
anything about me to my new caregivers. Well, I can agree with that, but I cannot agree with the violent, with the bullying acting that she had along with my caregiver in all these weeks. I hope this caregiver, this boy, she's 20, 25 years old, can disappear from my life once and for all so that I can pay another more real, more uh, trustful person to take care of me in this horrible life. Well, I hope you just understood some things in my horrible English and can just give me some advice about the way I can stand all of this in the next uh, days and weeks. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.